What's up everyone? Today's video, we're gonna go on a bit of a cruise and we'll see, I'm gonna just kind of do a vlog freestyle, see what happens today. Uh, right now we're at Golden's house. There's a bunch of cool cars here. I'm gonna flip this camera around and stop talking and just, you guys can check out the cars, they're pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, so we got the ACR here. We got Jordan's 1200 horsepower Supra apparently that he just got back. We got all these. We'll save the Lambo for last because that thing is insane. We got a couple R8s here. We got Golden's car. We got another one on bags. You guys might have seen, you probably saw both of these just briefly in another video, but this one is sick. It's on bags, air ride, so it's on the ground right now. We got another Gen 3 Viper, the Copper Tone, and then we have the Lamborghini Performante. Even pronounce, but this thing is sick. Check it out. All that carbon, gold engine. It's got the stealth wrap on it. This thing is bad. But like I said, let's go for a cruise. We're gonna. It's supposed to be a big cruise today, and we'll see kind of uh, where we end up going. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Cars here. This one is nuts. We got a twin turbo. I'll show you guys in a second. We're parked down there at the end. But look at this thing. All sheepy race. The turbos are buried in there. You can kind of see them in the back there. We found a dead bird. That's funny, bro. Ooh. Check this thing out. How much power does it have? Is it? It's more than the regular one. Four by eight, right? All right, rolling out. Whoa! <laughs> All right, you guys. So those guys ended up going on a big cruise. I went with them for a little bit, but honestly, there was just so many cars and a lot of traffic. So. I ended up stopping by Ryan's house. I'm gonna flip the camera around in just a second. I'm gonna help him hopefully try to fix his bumper. It's falling off his Porsche. So let me spin this camera around and show you what's up. All right, so on Ryan's Porsche here, his front bumper, and Ryan's still not even here yet, but his front bumper keeps coming off here and his wheels are so big. What's happening is every time he turns, it's grabbing the bumper and essentially ripping it right off the car. So uh, temporarily, I guess until, I don't know, he, either he's gonna have to switch the wheels or we're gonna have to shave this down significantly to be able to fit. But you can see here the bolt, it keeps ripping the bumper right off. So yeah, we gotta try to find a bolt to put in there, but at the same time, uh, there's no guaranteeing that when he turns the wheel again that it's gonna not try to rip his bumper back off again. So let me see what I come up with and then I'll show you guys what fix we come up with. All right, here's the fix, you guys. What I ended up doing is because, like I showed you, that bolt hole was all, you know, torn out on the bumper. Um, I did find hardware, if you can see it, to fit in there, but you gotta remember that it's just a U shape, so it still has a tendency to slip out. So what I did was put an inconspicuous uh, hole here, went straight through, and then there's a piece of sheet metal there we attached it to, so now the bumper can't come off, and you can see that it's been rubbing here quite a bit, so it's gonna have a tendency to rub, but this thing is on here solid right now, so um, I'm hoping this holds up for him. We'll see how long. He's apparently getting a new bumper soon, so this is somewhat temporary, so we'll see how long it lasts uh, before 
you know, hopefully, hopefully it lasts, honestly. But this is just gonna fit back over top. It'll hide that little bolt hole and that's it. And just like that, now we're at Adrian's house. It's got a bagged Hellcat. You guys have probably seen on the channel before. Adrian's garage, he does all sorts of different stuff too. So anything you see on this car, um, you know, the bags, he does all these custom front splitters, right? <laughs> There's the man himself. Uh, no, I was just telling him about the front splitters and stuff you do. So you do the splitters, side skirts. Rear skirts, the wicker bill. Everything, right? Diffuser. Diffuser. So hit up Sinister Stripes too if you want any of that stuff. You ship too, right? Some stuff, yeah. Some stuff? Alright, well, some stuff. Anything else, I'll convince them to ship you too. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go grab some food. He's down right now. Okay, so right now we're all the way down? Yeah. And this is the airlift controller? Yeah, so it doesn't the problem. Hold on, let me see. I wanna see from the outside. Alright, and then what, you just hit that button? Twice. Is that as high as you go? Oh, is it building pressure right now? Yeah. It's electric pump, right? Jeez! <laughs> it saves itself, though. <laughs> Whose man's is this? Trying to come at us with his V6. Fifth gens here. It's supposed to be a tradesman one. That looks like a 2500. Don't know if it's gonna be here. Maybe this one? Let's see. Let's see. This kind of looks like a base model. Might be this guy right here. I think this is it. Uh, is it it? It says 41,000. Tradesman, quad by, oh, but it's four by four. The one that I was looking at was just two wheel drive. But it looks essentially like this. Maybe it's this one over here. Let's see if this one's two wheel drive. It's probably gonna be this one. Two wheel drive, Tradesman, showing 36,000, but it's only showing 22. So let me see if I can find somebody and see what this thing actually costs. But this would be it, so it would have, hopefully it's not too wind noisy for you guys, but steel wheels, definitely not color match bumpers, just halogen tail lights. I think it has five and a half foot bed, uh, quad cab, not crew cab, and the inside is pretty basic looking. Looks like it's been driven, honestly. It's got a water bottle, not cloth here, maybe that comes with a deal. Mirrors are pretty basic. It's already got a nice scratch on it. Wonder if we could pick this up for a deal, you guys. So that's what the front looks like too. It actually doesn't look that bad, honestly, the front end. But we would probably color match a bunch of stuff or do something fun with it. But let me see what I can find out about this. Okay, so we were right, guys. That truck is normally 36,000 and they're willing to sell it for 22,858. So, yeah, here's the specs on it. Anyways, it's 5.7 liter. You can see up here, 5.7 liter Hemi, eight speed automatic. Uh, only crappy thing is it's got the 321 gear ratio. I thought it had the other one in it. 
But let's go ahead. Um, they're looking for the key. That's the only weird thing going on with this is they claim they can't find the key for it right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and drive back over there because it's way down there on the other side of the lot. Um, they have it on a second lot. So I'm going to go check it out. Um, we'll walk around and see what it's got. But yeah, that's the price right now. All right, there she is. Let's go take a look. We got the keys. So here's inside. Pretty basic. Tiny little stereo in the front or in the middle. Does have the eight speed. It's got some auxiliary stuff down here. No switches really for the knockouts there. It's got 61 miles on it, so it's definitely new. And that's pretty much it. Cloth basic interior. It's got jump seats in the middle. This is what a tradesman looks like, it looks like. And back seat's pretty basic. Still doesn't have an LED in it. So I'd have to do that for sure. But that's what the inside looks like. It's got the regular 5.7 in it. Cool. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, you probably noticed behind me, uh, the Viper now has the Boosted Motorsports logo. And I'm gonna be working on getting that stuff available too. So some different sizes and stuff that um, if you guys are interested, we can have some stickers too. So anyways, you guys, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.